Hey guys, this is Aaron from TechAge. I guess you have already tried your camera. I hope everything went well, but if you have any question about your camera, please feel free to contact us. Our email is support at techage.com. In this video, I will talk about CloudEdge app. I will show you the different sections and functions of the app, how to review the alarm notifications, the advanced settings about the camera, how to share your device with your family and friends, etc. Okay, let's get started. Here's our device management interface. You can add or delete your devices. You can also check the alarm notifications and your video records here. We'll get to that later. Now let's see the live streaming video. We will enter this interface. The camera will turn itself on from standby mode and show you what is happening right now on the other side of the camera. The default video quality is SD in order to lower the battery consumption. You can change it to HD if you want. The HD quality offers a better video resolution but it will also cost more energy and shorten the battery life. In the live interface, you can screenshot or record videos. Check them out in pictures and videos in the Mi interface. You can also edit your photos and videos. Let's choose a photo for example. Tap on edit. You can rotate your photo, crop it, change the filter, and other things. Tap here to compare and save the new image. The new image will be saved automatically in the smartphone gallery. As for the videos, you can also change the filter, the, vo the voice volume, and the brightness. Now let's get back to the live video interface. The camera supports two-way audio. It means you can talk to people through the app and the camera and people can talk back to you. Hold the intercom button. There's also a motion detection switch button. There are some situations that you don't need a camera to detect movements. At this moment, you can turn the motion detection off quickly by tapping this button. Ok, now let's talk about the settings of the camera. Tap the three dots on the right top of the screen. You can see your account name, your device name, the notification switch, and other settings of the camera. Let's go through these settings one by one. First of all, device share. You can share the device with your family or your friends. It means that your family or your friends can also see the live video, take screenshot, or record videos. But they are not able to change the settings. There is also a video tutorial to show you how to share the device.
Okay, let's move on. Next one. Device information. You can see the Wi-Fi name, the signal strength, and other information. We will find the live video is very delayed. You can check the signal strength in this section. If the signal strength is too weak, it means the camera is too far away from your router or there is something wrong with your network. Now let's see the basic function. When you install your camera, you may need to put it upside down to have the right angle. Turn on the rotate view switch, then on the live video interface, you will have the right image. Let's have a look. See? It's upside down. There is also a net vision switch. If you turn it on, it means it will show you the net vision black white picture no matter how bright it is in the room. Just like this. And it's the same logic if you turn it off. So I stress you to let it stay automatic. And there is speaker volume adjustment setting. The speaker of the camera is quite loud, so if you don't want to scare people, you can just turn it down a little bit. Just remember to test the speaker volume before the first conversation. In the power management, you can see the exact percentage of the remaining battery. The camera will send you a notification when the battery is lower than 20%. Next one, detection alarm. It is the same thing on the live video interface, except that you can change the sensitivity of the motion detection here. When you put it to high, the detection range is further and the camera will take more images and videos, but the battery will run faster. The camera is is originally designed for indoor use, but if you are willing to use it outdoor, we highly recommend you to turn the sensitivity to low or the battery will drain pretty fast and you will get lots of false alerts. As for the alarm plan, you can set the time period during which the camera detects movement. Next, SD card. The camera will need an SD card to store the images and videos. In this section, you can see the remaining storage of your SD card, the length of the videos, and you can form it as well. CloudEdge provides a cloud storage service, but it is paid. Since we won't get a single penny from this service, we don't recommend you to use it. And I'm just kidding. The cloud service of CloudEdge is simply just not convenient to use, so you'd better get your own memory card to make sure that you guys can use the ca camera at the moment you receive it. We have already put an SD card in our camera. However, our SD card is 16 GB, so for some people, this storage is not enough. The camera supports maximum 168 GB cluster micro SD card. So pay a little bit of attention when you buy it, and if you meet compatibility problem between the camera and the SD card, you can send us an email at any time. To remind you, our email address is support at package. Dot com. That's all for the settings of the camera and the app. Now let's take a look at the alerts and the notifications.
when the motion detection is on, the camera will be triggered when it detects a movement by using its PIR sensor. The sensor will receive the IR wave emitted by humans and animals or other heat sources. So please do not put the camera behind glass because glass will reflect and refract some of the IR waves and block the camera from detecting movements. When the camera is triggered by movement, it will take two photos first, then start recording a video. These photos and videos will be stored in your memory card or your cloud drive if you bought a cloud service. If you have turned the notification switch on, the camera will also send you a push message to tell you that there is a movement detection. When you tap the push message, you will see all the notifications and the camera has recorded. You can see the two photos taken first, and by tapping on the triangle on the left, you can watch the video. The interface will automatically jump to cloud storage interface. If you didn't buy the service, tap history to enter the SD card storage. In this section, you can see all the videos and camera has taken. Under the video interface, you can see a time track. You can pull it to choose the time and the video you want. Hold the little plus on the right to adjust the time track size. On the time track, you can only see the video taken today. If you want to review earlier videos, type on calendar and choose the date. You can also select a video by notification. Tap on the alarm button, you will see all the alarms. Type 1, then you will see the video taken at that moment. There are other ways to check the notifications. Go to the device management page. You see the play button on the left of the cloud. Tap it. Then you can see the records. You can also check them out in messages. Tap messages on the bottom of the app. Then choose alarm messages. Then your device. Voila, your photos and videos. So. That is pretty much all the information about the app. If you have any other question or problem about our product or the app, you're welcome to get in touch with us by sending us emails. One last time, our customer service email address is support at techage.com. If you are willing to know more about us, we invite you to subscribe our YouTube channel, TechAge on YouTube, and follow us on our Facebook page. Well, that's all for this video. Thank you very much for your time. I hope that you can enjoy your little camera and have a lovely day. See ya! Aaron's out!